Hello, this is one of the first of a series of talk about art and valuation. Uh, and many of you may have been thinking during this, your time spent, uh, enforced time spent at home, w w what are the things that I have? Uh, what are they worth? And that is the question that I get asked daily and is something that I have, have uh, great expertise and experience in dealing with and have dealt with over the last 30 years. So whatever art asset you have, whether it be a painting or a drawing or a sculpture or a work of art or jewellery, I have uh, the, uh, the contacts, I have the expertise, uh, I have my library, um, and I've worked in the market for over 30 years and with for all the auction houses and work now with many uh, contacts I've built up uh, over, over that time. And just to sort of drilling down on a few on a few objects that I have valued and sold successfully, there is one or two sick in mind, and one is a drawing by um, Guercino, who was a 17th century Italian artist, and this is the Cezanne and the Elders. This beautiful drawing was shown to me in in Switzerland, and interesting enough, the client didn't value it at all. He he valued it at around two to three hundred pounds. I took the drawing in for sale, brought it back to London and researched it and very soon realised with my colleague at the time that this was something quite special and we pulled in the expertise of the late Sir Dennis Mann, the uh, great expert on Guercino, who dated the drawing to late in the artist's career to the late uh, 1640s and the drawing uh, went from, from two to four hundred pounds to an estimate of twenty to thirty thousand. The drawing sold uh, in, in July um, 1995, on the 5th of July, for at that time of a hammer price of £140,000, which worked out with a premium, I think, of around about £153,000, and remained one of the most expensive drawings by the world record for about 10, 15 years. And today, if you look on art price, one of the um, search engines for, for uh, auction records, I think you'll see this is the third highest price even today. So that's what I do. I pull in expertise and use my knowledge. Another interesting uh, object, I, I actually in this case, I actually bought and sold myself. This was, I published the drawing. It was, uh, it is by uh, an artist called Francisco Pacheco, who's not very well known, but you will no doubt have heard as Velasquez. He was uh, the teacher of Velasquez. And this drawing, um, again, I bought actually this, I bought my own account uh, and, and, and sold um, to a museum in, in France. So now though I work exclusively on, on valuations and just give you an overview of, of the valuations that I, that, that I work on. People say, well, you know, what is, what is this worth? And, and, and uh, I was well, what are you looking for? Is this a probate valuation? Is this a valuation for family division? Is this for sale? Is this for insurance? So you, you, you have quite a few. And to just sort of go down on that, a probate valuation is, 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 is required, certainly in the UK, on, on, on the division of, of uh, on the death of someone and on the um, valuation of the assets. And with the art assets, this, this is where I can be of help. So whether it's a painting or a drawing or a sculpture or a whole collection, this is uh, something that I can do. And I put in my contacts and, uh, sorry, that is my dog barking in the background, that doesn't matter. Uh, and um, of course, this is time of COVID, so we're all working from home. Anyway, so the um, probate valuation is, is something that I, I have um, expertise on and the ability to do. Uh, another one uh, would be insurance. If you have jewellery or paintings, if you, you know what happens if it got stolen, you know, presumably you'd be quite upset. So you need to have it valued, and that's something that that, that I do, and um, I, I can provide that. Um, and I have a, I have many contacts and pull together. I provide the holistic view on whole valuation, and provide and provide that whatever the art asset is, I can I can provide valuation. Uh, another one may be current market valuation. What, what is it if I want to sell it? Uh, what is it if I, I want to buy something? So this this is this is what I this is one of the things that I do. Uh, please do let me know if this interests you. 
please contact me through my website or, or social media uh, and I'll happily help you or if you do have any questions. Thank you very much.